I'm back. Seriously though, how fun are these? Okay, I can't see. Wish these babies came in prescription. <laughs> okay, that's better. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Sorry it's been a few weeks. Um, just, you know, life gets in the way. Um, but I've still been making things. Um, I've been shooting footage. I just haven't edited it together yet. But, uh, I'm getting back on track. <laughs> so anyway, um, today I wanted to show you something that I made for my, um, soon-to-be nephew. Um, it's for his room. So today I'm going to show you this adorable ultrasound toss pillow that I made. And it's so cute. It's just, it's little, but it's like got a space. It's just, it's really cute, and I can't wait to, anyway, I can't wait to give it to her. But it just turned out really good, and I wanted to show it show it to y'all. It was really easy. It didn't take very long to make it all, and um, so anyway, uh, let's get to it. The first thing you're going to need is these um, inkjet fabric sheets, and I found them online. Um, they were the cheapest online. I actually, after I ordered these online, I found some a similar product at Joann's but it was like double the price so I would recommend ordering these online this one I found on Amazon and I got it for there's 10 sheets I think in here yeah there's 10 sheets in here and I got it for $10 so that's like a dollar a sheet so it's not too bad the second thing you're gonna need is Scotch Guard because these fabric sheets um, will not like hold their color if, on their own because the ink from your printer isn't um, like soap safe <laughs> I don't know anyway you can't do that so you've got to get some scotch guard and make sure that um, so that this will seal the fabric so that if something gets on it you can wipe it with water and the ink won't like rub off and smear so scotch guard and um, you can buy this anywhere I got it at Walmart the next thing you'll need of course is besides a printer is some kind of background fabric. So I did an ultrasound picture. It's like mostly black. So I have this great black fabric just laying around already. It's kind of a crushed velvet and I just thought it would go really well. It's kind of stretchy so I knew I could like stuff it with stuffing and it would stretch. So I really thought this fabric turned out well and I just had this laying around um, but I feel like I found this for pretty cheap in like a um, remnant bin. And then of course um, you'll need some batting, um, polyester fiber fill. Um, if you have an old pillow or something you can always just cut that open and pull the fiber fibers out of that. But I have this big bag so that's what I use. And then of course you'll just need some thread to match um, some black thread and you'll need a sewing machine and a manual needle as well. So I think that's everything. Yes, let's get started. So the first thing I did was, after scanning in the ultrasound picture that I received, I just went in and cropped it up a little bit so that it would be nice, even, straight picture. I then just printed it out onto the fabric sheets like I normally would on just a piece of paper. I think it's important to note that you should try to print it at the highest, like, possible quality because that'll get you the most ink saturation onto your fabric and I think it'll turn out like looking the best that way because you'll get a nice um, saturation of the fabric um, and it'll probably hold up a little bit longer as well um, at least everything I've read about this product states that I would also recommend maybe doing one test print like on just a regular piece of paper first just to make sure that it turns out okay and that you're um, ink saturation and color everything looks okay before I peeled it off the paper I went ahead and sprayed it with one coat of Scotch Guard, and then I blow dried that to let it dry really quickly and then I peeled off the um, backing and I turned the thing I turned the fabric over and I sprayed the back side with Scotch Guard basically until it was visibly moist and then I blow dried it again and then I turned around and I did it like about three times to get it a nice thick coat. According to the package instructions it says not to like do too thick of a coat all at once because it might make the ink run. 
So you just want to do a, like a nice quick coat, blow dry that, then another coat, blow dry it. And I didn't have any problem with my ink running at all. The next step is just to cut out a piece of fabric that is a just a little bit bigger than your eight and a half by 11 piece of fabric. If you've got your fabric cut out, um, make sure you place the right sides together so that your wrong sides are facing out on both sides and pin that together, leaving a small hole at the bottom, a small gap at the bottom, which is where you will stuff the pillow together. Take it to your sewing machine and do a simple straight stitch all the way around. Once you have the entire thing sewn together, and turn that baby right side out and mine got a little bit wrinkly during the turning it back process so I just took it and did a quick iron job to kind of make it nice and smooth and then I just started stuffing the pillow just basically until it got to a thickness and firmness that I wanted um, depending on how firm of a pillow you want you just put more stuffing or less so it just depends on what you want once you've got it to the desirable thickness, you're just going to take a simple manual needle and some thread and just sew the small hole together using a real simple stitch. Um, I just went around it um, and it's just just a simple stitch. I, I don't know what it's called. It's, I don't, it's not a whip stitch. I don't remember. Anyway, just stitch it shut. That's pretty much it. And you get this really cute ultrasound pillow. Um, I love the possibilities with this. You can so easily make, you can print anything out on this fabric and make a little toss pillow out of it. Anyway, that's today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Um, let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you're new here, I saw a few some new subscribers since my last video. So if you're new here to my channel, welcome. Say hi to me in the comments. I want to know who you are. And, uh... Anyway, I'm going to try to get back onto a one um, video a week schedule if I can, maybe even more than that if I can get videos together for you. I have so many projects in mind, it's just a matter of filming them and then editing and it's just a process. But I've got lots of ideas still. Um, I'm so excited um, for the summer and I've got my nephew coming and I just I have so much to look forward to and I'm going to VidCon here in like a month. I'm so excited to meet everybody that's going to VidCon. If you see me at VidCon, please come say hello. I am, I want to meet. I want to meet y'all. So, uh, yeah. See you next time. Bye! I love how on the fabric, like I love how on the fabric sheets, this has got like a picture of Justin Bieber, I think, and it's like sewn onto a shirt. I'm not sure I would do that. No.